up troops, it's Baltic from the Drunken Kelks, and I'm here with our top PS4 gaming picks of 2017. Well, it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride this year from the very beginning, with plenty of ups and downs along the way. From the triumphant return of old favourites such as Crash Bandicoot and Wipeout, to the disappointments of For Honor, Mass Effect Andromeda, and let's not forget the whole loot box fiasco. It's certainly been eventful if nothing else. But politics aside, there have still been plenty of games to get excited about this year. So many in fact, we can't mention all of our favourites here. So without further ado, let's get in a boot it! Now, to qualify for this list, it simply has to be a game we've played on the PS4 this year. However, not necessarily released this year, so that's important to know as we go forward. Now, we were each given two games we could nominate, and no duplicates were allowed between us, and this just gave us a chance to highlight some other games which has led to a few interesting picks. Chief among these is our first game selected from Bulby, and this is Elix, an open world RPG developed by Piranha Bytes. Who the fuck is that guy? I must admit, I had never heard of this game, but after a quick chat with Bulby I was intrigued. Elix by Bulby's own admission is a bit of a niche game, maybe even a little janky, and certainly not for everyone. However, its massive, totally seamless open world drew him in from the very beginning. The level of detail in the world is quite amazing, and even though it might not be the highest quality of graphics, the post-apocalyptic sci-fi slash fantasy aesthetic works well and just begs to be explored. Combine this with deep mechanics, interesting story and characters, decision-making choices that actually have a meaningful impact on the world and story arc, you can lose hours upon hours in Elix. Bulby also made special mention of the varied multi-stage side quests, which in his opinion are some of the best he's played in any game. Even with a bumpy start and a high difficulty level, Elix was one of Bulby's favourite gaming experiences of 2017. Next up is my first pick, and although this game was released on the 30th of September 2016 by developer Firaxis Games, XCOM 2 is one of my favourite games I've completed this year, and I can't wait to get into the War of the Chosen expansion. Now, XCOM 2 is a turn-based tactical shooter with base building and RPG elements, but don't let that put you off. This game is the fucking shit. Honestly, it continues off from the first game, the aliens have successfully invaded, they've taken over and you're humanity's last hope. You play the commander of the Avenger, the mobile headquarters of the Resistance, and it's here that you will recruit your soldiers, scientists, engineers, research new facilities and weapons, all in order to combat the alien scum. Die, alien scum! All the while, you must discover the secrets of the alien sinister project Avatar. The clock's ticking and you can feel the stakes increase with every decision you make. The game sounds complicated but it's all very accessible and straightforward. The turn-based battles are brilliant and you will need to switch up tactics and equipment to successfully deal with the various deadly ETs in this game. There really are some exceptional enemies here and the AI is very cunning indeed. I could go on forever and ever about this game, but my favourite thing is how connected you become to your soldiers. They are all highly customisable and you can name them from the start. Um, they grow in both strength and rank throughout the campaign and when you lose one, and you will lose one, it's genuinely harrowing. In short, you owe it to yourself to give this game a shot. We'll give it a shot. That brings us to Big McGee's first pick. Titanfall 2. Developed by Respawn Entertainment, this is another game that wasn't released this year. But most of the drunken Celts agree, this is a truly great game. And thanks to the regular updates, we will be playing it for a while to come. Big McGee himself cites the immersive gameplay, fantastic graphics and amazing story about the bond between man and machine is why it's one of his favourites this year. And I myself loved the campaign and really enjoyed the multiplayer but Mickey wants to give a special mention out to one of the hardest trophies he's tried to get and the only one keeping him and many others from the prized platinum trophy. 
Of course I'm talking about the infamous Becomes the Master Trophy, which tasks you to complete the training gauntlet in an insanely fast time. I personally tried it until I get motion sickness and gave up, but it's definitely a game to check out. Now for Neville's first pick, and I must say this was a bit of a surprise. Sing Star Celebration. No way! Developed by Sony Interactive Entertainment London Studio, this game has been feeding Neville's karaoke cravings all year. Because, as we all know, he loves that bass. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, bass, bass. Moving swiftly along, that brings us to Xbox's first pick. And it's Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> I've already let my views be known in my review for this game that you can check out in the channel, but let's hear from Export himself on why this made it into his top spot. Yo, what's happening? This is Export, the Drunken Kells. Now before you just get your heckles up, hear me out. To me, this is one of the most, or if not, the most anticipated game of 2017. Since it's been a full release, there has been a lot of controversy. But I'm not going to bore you with what you already know, unless you've been frozen in carbonate for the last six months. So let's jump the light speed, grab a cold one, and head to Jabba's Palace. Now, before you go throw this game into the mighty Salak pit and have it digested slowly for a thousand years, take a moment and reflect back. Well, that's what I'm going to do. So, breathe. Let the force flow through you. <laughs> Now, if you want a Star Wars experience to feel like you're in the movie, then this is the game for you. The music, familiar, epic. The visuals for me were jaw-dropping at times. The game's developers couldn't have done a better job. The sound effects, the laser blaster fire whizzing and pinging overhead and screeching TIE Fighter, soaring Millennium Falcon, and that old fateful X-Wing. Just made my childhood fantasy a reality, even just for a few hours. Now, as it's pretty obvious that I'm a huge Star Wars fan, I recommend any fan of the franchise and gamer to play this. So that was my honourable mention or dishonourable for the Duncan Kells Best Games 2017. Peace. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. So that leaves us with Mickey's first pick, and there's not much I can say about this game that's not already been said. Horizon Zero Dawn from Guerrilla Games is truly epic, and it deserves all the praise it has garnered and then some. This was a popular pick among the Celts, but Mickey managed to fight off the competition to make it his top pick, mainly because of his passion for the game and his well-documented love of the Ginger Minge. So that brings us nicely into our second batch of picks, and Bulby recommends The Evil Within 2 to anyone who will listen. It's so good in fact, he played through the entire game three times back to back. Improving on the first title in many ways, The Evil Within 2 is a third person survival horror developed by Tango Gameworks, and you should definitely check it out. Here we go with my second pick now, and that's Middle Earth Shadow of War. Developed by Monolith Productions, this game, although far from perfect and a little grindy, still gave me the most fun I've had with a single player this year. I love how overpowered your character is, and the enhanced nemesis system is even better this time around, providing genuine laugh out loud moments in a seemingly endless stream of works for you to manipulate. The variety of ways you can tackle each situation keeps the gameplay fresh many many hours in. And if you liked the first game, I guarantee that you will have a blast with this new and refined formula. <laughs> What's it say? Well, it says. I love it when a plan comes together. Next up is Big McGee's second pick, and that's Naughty Dog's standalone expansion to Uncharted 4, 
Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Mr. McGee states that it's like playing through a film, and he thoroughly enjoyed it. With amazing graphics, story and gameplay, this was an easy choice and should win a BAFTA like its predecessor, he says. Eh, and I have to agree, a cracking, cracking game. So, here's Neville's final selection, and this one was another surprise. From his favourite movie franchise, yes, it's Frozen Free Fall Snowball Fight. Developed by Who Gives a Fuck and published by Couldn't Care Less Gaming, the quicker we're done with this one, the better. So, on to another one of my personal favourites, and this time it's Export's second pick. So I'll hand you over to the man himself again to explain why. If you're into wearing your pants and top of your trousers and blazing up that green kryptonite, or hiding in a cave with a butler and a teenage boy, look no further than Injustice 2, brought to you by the good folk over at NetherRealm Studios, the legendary Mortal Kombat creators. Oh yeah. Now, this game delivers and does exactly what it says in the tin. Outstanding single player story, mental multiplayer mayhem, a great selection of your favourite heroes and villains to go along with it. Now to me, the gameplay is pretty much flawless, there is no glitchiness, the level transitions are seamless, the music will pretty much make you grab a trident, swim to the bottom of the ocean and make love to a sea orchid or a dolphin if that's your thing. So yeah, to sum up I give Injustice 2 9.5 a rolls and square out of 10. If you love your beat em ups, go and buy this game. Thanks for listening, export. That's me, repping those drunken cakes. Peace. You win. Perfect. And here we are at last with Mickey's final pick. Now we're big fans of Housemark here at the Drunken Kelks and I'm glad that next Machina made the cut. This is pure adrenaline fueled twin stick arcade perfection and it's addictive as it is fun. The game will have you chasing your friends on the leaderboards in search of that next big high score. Not much else I can say about this game, absolutely love it, definitely go and check it out. And anyone from Housemark, if you're listening, we're still waiting on that online co-op, lads. Well, that's it for our top PS4 games that we've played in 2017. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed playing them all. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Neville's actual games were Hellblade and Rocket League, but I'm sure he would like the ones I picked for him. So now, there's just time enough left for a few honourable mentions. First up, Neo, absolutely amazing game. Hard as nails, I gave up. Um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, brilliant co-op. Tekken 7, oh, I've not played it yet, but Bulby assures me it's cracking. Crash Bandicoot, excellent game. Absolutely love uh, what they've done with the remaster. Shadow Warrior 2, just getting into that at the moment, really liking it, having a great time with Wang. Wolfenstein 2, can't wait to play that one. Battle Chasers, no idea what that is, Bobby. Destiny 2, yeah, I enjoyed it up until a point. Resident Evil 6, yes, 6, not 7. Resident Evil 6, um, we co op that year, um, we co op that this year, me and Mickey. It was fun. Uh, finally, GTA Online. Just um, the new heists, the Doomsday heists are really good and all the stuff they've updated all year really. Um, and that wasn't the final, sorry, I need to mention Wipeout. And I'm sure there's plenty of I've missed. Um, there's also other games that I've not managed to play this year, um, even between the six of us. So um, there'll probably be some stragglers on next year's list. But anyway, this is Baltic for the Drunken Celts signing off. Catch you. Thank you.